Do you really think that's what I was going to show you? Kind of some cool cars behind me. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. It is a beautiful, as you can see, Monday morning. It's actually Sunday morning here, but I'm pre-recording this episode because we've got a unique opportunity. So I'm pre-recording this uh, episode this afternoon, or actually this morning, here at Motor Coach Country Club down in Indio. And as you can see, we are at the Marathon lot, and I am gonna show you exactly what we're gonna do right behind me. That's right, the latest H3 from Prevo and from Marathon, Coach 1375. Isn't that something? Well, let's go see what's going on inside. Look how beautiful this coach is, you guys. We're gonna spend some time this morning inside 1375 with none other than Dave Bash. Yeah, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is a great uh, opportunity to spend some time. I'm gonna shut this door and we're gonna roll. Dave drove this coach all the way to Florida. With Eddie. With Eddie. And then he drove all the way back to in India, where we are right now, and he's driving it up to Oregon because this coach sold on the first day it was available. And so we are going to head out. We've been showing it down here because this is the latest H3. I'm gonna turn your master lights off here, Dave. Don't let me distract you while you're doing your thing. I wouldn't let you do that. I no. know, I know. But uh, this is the latest H3 from Prevo, which has tons of uh, front end upgrades and cockpit upgrades. And Marathon decided to take advantage of that and jump on several upgrades to the cockpit. And we are gonna drive in this episode over to Outdoor Resorts Indio's front lot from Motor Coach, which is literally across the street from each other and pick Dave's brain because he's got uh, over 6,000 miles on this new H3 and the latest upgrades from Marathon. Well, Dave, tell us, you drove this all the way to Florida and back? Yeah. 6,000 miles in the seat. Tell us, uh, Tell us about the latest H3 from Marathon. It drives real nice. It was quiet, smooth. It drove real nice. With these new e-mirrors, especially at night, the visibility out of them is very good. So let's talk about that. Hold on. Oh, we got to hold on here. Hello. Hey, how's Good. Oh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't feel safe at Motor Coach Country Club, you don't feel safe anywhere, my people. But here's the deal. Let's talk about those e-mirrors because I'm going to swivel around so you can see the new. These are the new mirrors, you guys, that are fixed. These are the static mirrors that are the rear view uh well, the side mirrors. Bigger, bigger area. They're bigger area, and they have a kind of a blacked out with chrome on the uh, on the other side, which you can't see on this. But also, what's up there is, and you can't see it from my angle where I am, but you can see right on the left hand side of Dave one of the monitors for the electronic mirrors. Dave, talk to us about the electronic mirrors and the benefits of them um, in in addition to, because they do not replace the side mirrors. The side mirrors are very important, more important than the electronic mirrors. But talk to us about what they do to enhance the drivability of the new H3. Well, it's just another area or reference that you can use while driving the coach. It's another tool, to correct? You, yeah. Now we're just going to the waiting area. We're just going there. right over here by, uh, in one of these slots over here, Dave. Right. So yeah, they, 
the visibility algorithm, especially at night, is really good. Um, from the coach body out, there is more of a picture on the e-mirrors than there is on the regular mirrors. More visibility. And uh, it's just another tool for you, for you to use while driving to help you in the reference of the spaces of the coach. So we're going to park here and Dave's going to walk us through some of the new additions of the, uh, and when I mean new addition, I don't mean Ralph Tresvant and Bobby Brown. I mean new additions to the H3. I can't, <laughs> I can't miss a reference like that. Yeah. I know, I know. So Dave, uh, here we are parked at the front lot. I'm actually going to show them one of my favorite features of, this is the new do entry door. Now, and keep in mind, this is kind of what we would call a prototype. This is the first of its kind. So Marathon is still dialing in a few things, but this is an amazing, amazing feature. The, instead of trying to reach in here and find this, which you, can still do. which you can still do, and a lot of owners know how difficult that can be. When you're standing in front, you got to reach down and find that somewhere down here. That's really okay. But how about this little push button right here? You just push that green button and the door flies open for you. That's a fantastic thing. Dave, walk us through some of the features of the cockpit that have been added. One of the, uh, of course, everyone is right now looking at that new steering wheel. So probably a good place to start, right? Okay. Well, we can do that. It's pretty nice looking. Got new controls on here. Like over here, before we had the button on the end of the turn signal lever to for courtesy or ICC signal lights. Absolutely. Now you've got a button here. You just press that and it flashes those marker lights for you. You've got cruise control power here. You got set, resume, and with this uh, toggle switch here, resume right here. You've got, this coach has Bluetooth in it now. And so you've got buttons here on the steering wheel for your phone to work them. Over here, we've got the controls for the dash uh, display here you can toggle through different things on the on the dash different gauges different readings that you can look at there's one of the most important ones right there you press the home button here and you go back to the regular display and then you've got other things you can go through here and look at that's great and the, one of the nicer things, the tire pressure monitoring monitor that used to be over here on the left, Is now it, it's on the da main dash, and it's much more visible, much easier to read display on it. And you can toggle through the different tires. It tells you the tire pressure and the temperature of that tire. That's great. And the horn buttons are on the bottom there. I see that. Yep. Very nice. And you've got contrasting stitch on the steering wheel, yeah. which I really think is a, a nice touch. Dave, talk to us about the airflow of the Dash Air now. What a coincidence, smell! I was just gonna say something about that. <laughs> Prevo has really upped the airflow out of the three Dash Air vents here now. It works 100% better than it has for many years. You've got good airflow here and behind us controls are down here and really easy to work if, so it, it works really well if you are a uh, marathon owner or a prevo owner who has owned a coach over the last 15 plus years you know that the airflow has lacked some strength and ability <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it mm -hmm. uh, in the cockpit that has been addressed so it's not only much better airflow but it's quieter yes very much. I think one of the things that stuns people when they first start the coach and the the dash air starts up, it was so loud and uh, but lacking the 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 cooling ability. But it is a uh, hundred times better. I'll agree with that. Dave, why don't you show us the the real cool uh, snack tray that has been implemented by Marathon? Well, you've got a snack tray here that pivots. 
and that's a first for the this, this style is first you guys for this uh h so you're seeing a, a new snack tray go ahead dave and they've integrated this phone or ipad charging system that can be put here or here i used it quite a bit on my trips to florida and back this is a phone charger that'll accept an ipad also so if you want to use it for whatever reason you can have your phone here on the bottom of it you got a usb port so you get yourself a little short cable you can keep your phone plugged in well just having the phone here will charge it if you don't have a cover on the back of your phone yeah the pad charges if you don't have a cover on your phone but if you do have a cover on your phone and you still want it on there you can hardwire it right through there like i have an extra battery pack on my phone but i can still put it in here and plug in the cord in the bottom and keep it charged wherever i'm going that's great and the bluetooth connectivity in the cockpit is something new to uh not only marathon but prevos and uh having the ability to make that i mean it's something that we've seen in cars for the last 15 to 20 years yep. and it's really nice at this point to be able to have the uh talking uh you know the, the answering calls and making calls bluetooth style in your cockpit but also being able to stream uh music uh, let's let's take a closer look at this double monitor. Uh, a real significant change to the dash. Um, there, he's on your navigation screen right there. But um, Dave, if you hit if you hit phone, it shows right there. You know, and temperature, and and you can change different things, and it's it's very touch sensitive. So it's really a nice. Where else? Oh, leveling is going to be in here too. It's fantastic. Bluetooth. Gosh, what else? Climate. Shades. Cameras. It's all going to be available here. That's great. And navigation. You still got the regular Crestron monitor with for all the house monitoring systems down here and the cameras. And so... Uh, this is the Prevo dash, so you're going to have these two compartments right here, which everybody who knows me knows I like a good compartment in my car or my vehicle, and also a locking one down here. And Dave's gonna unlock this one and show us it's not just a locko, lockable uh, compartment. You've got several charging ports, USB, um, C charger here. And so, yeah, there's several charging ports. Available That's really here. nice. That is really nice. Door locking has also changed. So your door lock button is right there on the side of your uh, dash air controls. Um, a cup holder for the driver on the left-hand side or on the driver's side. And that is really nice to have. And it's a much, much cleaner console on the left-hand side of the driver. Dave, you wanna show them the new uh, way to start the coach and the new way to use the uh, the, the braking system. I just shut the engine off. So like most new cars here, you have to have a key fob with you in range of the vehicle to work it. So I'm gonna turn the power on here with this rocker switch right here. Lights up the dash. Again, just like it's been for a long time, we're gonna wait for this engine icon to go out. Gotcha. And then we just got a uh, engine start button over here when we're ready. Push button start, uh, brand new to the Prevo chassis and new to, new for Marathon. That's why we wanted to show it. That's fantastic. So that's really, really nice. How about uh, showing everybody the, well, I can show them on this side while you get ready to show them the new seats. Uh, from the, from the co-pilot seat, look at how beautiful this co-pilot seat is, you guys. Beautiful. From this sitting, you also have this gooseneck phone charging console, but you also have a air vent right here for the, for the co-pilot. There's one down there, as you can see, but there's one right here. And you can control the fan 
right here with this button. Increase or decrease, increase or decrease the power of this right here. Fantastic. Of course, you've got the uh, switch controls here. Uh, but another thing is they're on the door. See it down there on the door? So when the door is open or you want to control certain things like ground lights or step lights or entry lights or master lights, all those controls are right there, but they're also right here. Now, take a look at this. Map lights. Instead of having that gooseneck light that went around here, you have a map light right here. You can hold it on or you can just push it for quick access. Very nice. And at night, it's quite bright, wouldn't you say, Dave? Yep. Here's another cool feature. Both the driver and the co-pilot have this mirror, also known as the check me mirror. Isn't that great? And it's backlit so you can see yourself at night. And an adequate, and this is important, adequate because sunglasses are different sizes. An adequate sunglass holder right here. You could also put other things in here. Um, whether it be a spare set of keys or whatever, but I think it's specifically designed for sunglasses. Oh, thank you, Dave. Another really cool feature is when you're headed out, when you're headed out, see this little console right here? It opens up and in there is two umbrellas and it actually has a little holder pedestal for the umbrella. Now, Two sets of umbrellas. Now, another thing you could do is store other other cool things in there or dog leashes. Of course, this step right here goes up, but that is really cool. And another thing is, and I hope it shows up on camera, is these entry steps are tilted. They are slanted uh, so that it gives the effect. It gives the effect that you are moving in and to the left as you come up. All right, Dave, now do me a favor. Talk to me about the new uh, pilot and co-pilot seats in the new H3. Well, the big deal about them is that they have cooling or heating in them now. Cooling and heating for the first time I ever. Just, can you get the picture of this right here? Absolutely. Right here, I just turned the air conditioning or the, it's basically a fan. You see all the perforations in the seat here. You've got airflow in these seats now either heated or cooled. So I just turned the cool on here, right here. Here, you, you know can... what? I can show them a little bit better right here because this is really cool to show. Heating will go all, all to the red and then you can dial it down or you can dial it up. Isn't that nice? Or you, go down. or you go down and you got blue cool and that's cooling and you can hear it starting up through the perforations of the leather. Really, Works really well. Really, really nice. Yeah, I guess you would know uh, by driving all the way to Florida and back, you would know it's really a nice, uh, really a nice feature. Yep. That's great. Uh, what else, Dave, stands out? Um, you see Jim Cogley out there uh, also illustrating some of the new things that uh, we have in the in the new H3 from Marathon. Well. Well, I could show them this up here. These vents up here on the side of the, and I believe this is a 55 inch Samsung Smart TV behind there that comes yeah. down. But behind these vents, you guys, in the, uh, right above the head of the driver and the co-pilot, it's not only speakers, but it also is uh, heating and cooling vents. So you're gonna get more dash heat or dash air also coming down on you from those. It's kind of a dual functioning vent system. And I think it looks really nice. The slides are in in this coach right now, but this is a beautiful coach, you guys. Beautiful coach. It has shown very well, coach 1375. Who's this guy? Look at that guy. Oh, wait, wait, look at this guy. He's got a mustache. Jim Cogley. Other than that, Everything in the cockpit is new. Yeah, that's a really good way to look at it. The whole, all the controls, uh, the trapezoid windows, good visibility from the co-pilot seat or the driver's seat. 
Good idea. Let me give them a wide version of this. And I will tell you, and Dave, you can back me up on this, something that, that Dave and myself and Jim Cogley have heard over the last couple of days while we've shown this coach down here in the desert is uh, there's a lot of people that are saying the experience in the cockpit, <gasps> bless you, seems more like a car now than driving a bus. It's uh, more of a, it, it feels more like that from the cockpit experience. To me, it's not much different. Gotcha, okay. It's, it's nice. It's got, it's it's got nice. more functions and features that you would find in a luxury vehicle. The controls, once you figure them out, yeah, are pretty easy to use. And oh, having everything here on the steering wheel is. Dave, show nice. them the new telescoping uh, <laughs> steering wheel. It's always a problem for customers for the first time to find the air actuated button that lets you move the telescope or move the steering wheel. Now they've got a mechanical lever just to the left of the steering column. You push it down. Very easy to move the steering wheel. And it, where you want it. and it articulates a whole lot better <laughs> and more complex. And complex is a good term when it's it comes more, to this. It's a little more smooth. Yes. And it also, it just has more uh, options in position wise for the driver. And it's, it's easier to find than trying to find that air actuated yes. uh, control easier. up on the firewall. You can actually see it just sitting here in the seat or the other one could have a feel for it. That's nice. Well, let me uh, run outside real quick, Dave, and give everybody a good, okay. I guess I'll push the button. There we go. As you can see, this is a whole new front end. I'll point out a few things. The windshields. The dual windshields are, and I don't quote me, I think it's 11 and a half inches. I believe they are 11 and a half inches longer. You know, the whole front end is completely redesigned from the headlights over. I'll show you a really cool thing. Of course, the bumper goes down, but if I open this, This is where you release your bumper. See that, you guys? But watch this. This is what Prevo calls the frunk, the front trunk. See how this got released? And then there's a secondary release in here. And it's not really a front trunk because there's no way to access anything. There's no way to put anything in here. But what it is, is it's access for serviceability. And Prevo did that so that these items that are in here, that normally a lot of things would have to be done to get to, are accessible. Isn't that cool? Here's a good shot of the new mirrors. And you can see the texture of the new mirrors. It's almost like, um, it's almost like a textured, uh, truck truck liner almost or a real heavy spray to the very shiny chrome and then right above it is the e-mirrors and of course this this coach has a 360 on it but it also is going to have those new e-mirrors I'm going to step back and get a try to avoid the sun. We'll go to the other side, but I do want to show you the X, the, uh, the back side of Coach 1375.
Isn't that great? You see here at the entry door. Right into the cockpit. All right, you guys, that's about it. A big thanks to Dave Bash uh, for giving us some time to really experience his, uh, his experiences driving this coach around 6,000 miles over the last couple of weeks. And uh, big thanks to you guys for watching. Uh, it's things like this, it, these, these changes. This is not a subtle change. This is a game changer for uh, the cockpit and the H3. There are so many features in here, none of them gimmicky. That's what it is. Prevo waited and took their time, and Marathon took their time to R&D the correct things that are user-friendly for the driver. It enhances the experience of the driver. And I think that's a real important thing to point out, is that the things that you see in here are things that, are, that were outdated in the cockpit, um, whether it be by Marathon or by Prevo. And so coming up to speed with Bluetooth connectivity, heated and cooled seats, um, a better telescoping steering wheel, uh, a better interface for the driver, this dual monitor uh, that you see right behind me. Um, the dual monitor, it's not just a dual monitor to have an extra monitor on, at the dash level, but it actually adds a ton of function. And uh, we'll be bringing you a lot more uh, video experiences to show you exactly what those monitors do. We'll probably have a couple individual shows when it comes to just showing that. But anyway, this is Coach 1375, uh, the latest from Marathon and the newest H345 from Prevo. This is really, really an, a needed upgrade. And so a big thanks to all of the people up at Prevo in Quebec, Canada, who uh, build these amazing chassis for Marathon to build these amazing coaches on. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, don't forget to be yourself and do good things. And uh, we'll see you next Monday. Thanks, you guys.